Hey guys, it's Kay. Now today I'm looking at installing Manjaro 20.06 Plasma Edition on the Raspberry Pi 4. Now if you didn't know already, Manjaro is based on the independently developed Arch operating system and it has a reputation of being fast, powerful and a lightweight distribution. So perfect for the Raspberry Pi with its portable footprint. So in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install Manjaro 20.06 onto your Raspberry Pi 4. Then I'm going to show you what you can expect from the Plasma Edition in terms of overall performance in software and video playback. Okay, without further ado, let's get on with this. So first things first, you need to head on over to the Manjaro website, all links in the description below guys. Then just click on the download button and you'll be presented with two options. The XFCE version, which is a lightweight leaner desktop and it features low use on system resources. And of course the KDE Plasma version, which is a more user friendly and customizable desktop with different menus and styles built in. Now scroll up to the top and click on additions and from here select ARM and then select the Raspberry Pi 4 and then select the Plasma version and then click on the download button and it will redirect you to the download page. And again finally click on download and it will begin downloading automatically. Now to install the Manjaro image onto an SD card you need some software and I'm using the Pi OS imager for this. Click on choose OS and scroll down to use custom OS this will open up another window and you just need to navigate to where you downloaded the original file to. Select it and press open. Next click on the SD card button and just make sure you select the correct SD card you want the OS going on to. Now in my case it's a 32GB card and that's it. Just click on the write button and then you just need to wait until it writes and then verifies the software on your card. It should take about 5 minutes in total. Now once it's done take it out of your PC and put it into your Raspberry Pi 4 and boot up. Okay, so your first boot up is always going to be longer than your average boot up as it sets up and configures the system. And the first thing you'll be asked to do is set up your keyboard layout. Now, as I'm in the UK, mine's going to be UK keyboard layout. And the next thing you'll be asked to do is enter a username, which can only be in lowercase. So I'm going to enter tech figure. You can then add additional groups for the user you've just created. I'm just going to skip on this. You'll be then asked to enter the full name for the user. And for this demo, I'm just going to use tech figure again. You'll then need to enter a password for the user and confirm the password. And finally, trust me guys, this is the last password. It's going to be your root password. So enter your root password and confirm it. Next, you need to put in your time zone and mine's going to be Europe, London. And to finish up the setup, you'll be asked to confirm your locale. And again, because I'm in the UK, mine is GBUTF8. And lastly, you need to enter your hostname for your Raspberry Pi. And I'm calling it TechFig. You'll then get a chance to confirm all your setup settings and if you're happy just click OK. The Raspberry Pi will then boot up and then reboot. And that's it guys, we're booted into Manjaro 20.06. So let's take a quick tour around the desktop. As you can see I've got a wired internet connection. Now on the bottom right we've got our date and calendar and I've got a little pop-up message telling me I've got some updates. Great thing about these notifications are that they are on a timer so they kind of disappear by themselves. We've got an option to show hidden icons networks, wired and Wi-Fi, and we've got an icon to show most recent devices. And in this case, it shows my SD card. We've got an icon for Bluetooth devices, and we've got access to our audio settings. And of course, we've got our updates icon. And from here, we can go straight to the package manager. There's also this bell notification icon, which in this case tells me my wireless mouse battery is low. Okay, so let's go and take a quick look at the package manager from here. And as usual, we've got all our categories, so no problems there. And we can also see what's installed on our system and what updates are pending. Now Mozilla browser is installed as default and it works pretty well. I didn't experience any issues with it, no stuttering or screen tearing. And even at 1080p it was relatively good performance, but the best performance was at 720p I found. Okay, now going back to adding and removing software, I found that you can also install RetroArch, which for those of you who don't know is retro emulation software. It's just a matter of typing in RetroArch and just installing from the installer. And make sure you install the dependencies which will pop up in another window. Now once it's installed you'll find it on the menu system under games. Now the other thing I want to talk about is the customization options available in this version. Now you've got access to some great looking themes in the settings menu. And you just need to click and apply. And instantly it changes. And you've got the option of something called Plasma Style. Which lets you make subtle changes to widgets and so. You've also got the option of getting some new plasma styles, which at first glance look pretty good. Now you've also got the option to control how your workspace behaves. You can adjust visual behavior, animation speed, and mouse click behavior. So overall, this is a highly customizable distro. 
The options just go on and on. Anyway guys, links to all my other Raspberry Pi videos is in the description below. So as always, if you found this video helpful, give us a like and maybe even a subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.